Good morning guys, welcome to today's video and all our gorgeously cleaned fly masks. That chicken was frozen. When we were walking by, she just was standing like, walk like she was walking and then she just froze. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday. Wait, is today Tuesday? It is, but I checked and it's a Thursday, I swear. <laughs> Anyways, I love summer, but I love when the horses don't have to worry about bugs bothers me. I hear a lot of noise happening on the day by day farm. Hello, lady. Yesterday, you might have heard me say that Penny was mad at me, and it's true, she was. I was brushing her before the farrier came, and she was out at the she was out at the round belt eating and I brushed her. What? And she like growled at me, like she squealed at me like she does with Storm. And then instantly I was like, oh crap, they're right. So many of you guys said that Penny was just a meanie. And I said, no, it's because Storm bothers her. She only throws a fit because Storm bothers her. And then I brushed her and apparently it was bothering her. And then she had attitude and I'm like, oh man, it is Penny, man. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of work with her today and see if I can get her back to uh, not acting like that with me. Like that oh my gosh. It's Willow's mane. She gets really fluffy in the winter too. No, she needs that mane for the winter to keep her warm. And, and you know what? That mane is looking gorgeous. It's, no, it's not. It's thin. It's not thin. It's, it is thin enough. It's, I've never seen her have such a nice mane. You're not touching it. She's not having long mane. Yes, she is. No. Yes. Okay, listen, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. Willow is definitely losing a little bit of weight. She's looking good. We started locking the, the ponies up again and she's probably feeling really good for it. I don't know what to do about that. Like, Sophie and I both have totally different ideas about what a horse should look like. And it's important to me, and it's important to her. So, that sucks. <laughs> I don't want her cutting the horse's manes going into winter because she's not gonna have like a fly, uh, she's not gonna have like a collar on her blanket. So, I don't want her to be cold. Plus, her mane does look so nice. Didn't it look so nice, you guys? Exciting news. Actually, I can't show you. Hi, big guy! <laughs> what is it? Are you all alone down there? Where are your brothers? Where are your brothers, the goats? Isn't he looking cute? He's just been swimming. I can see he's soaking wet. There they are! Come on! What? Climb the fence. What a cute boy. Right, so anyways, the exciting news is that um, this goat and this goat, no, these two goats right here are in heat. What are you doing? Okay, so two of my goats are in heat and I plan to breed October the 1st and I bought a brand new little buckling this year. It's unfortunate, he's just young. He needs to be ready to breed by October 1st. So I've been watching, I've been watching for signs, right? This girl's not getting bred. So last night, last night and today, oh my gosh, so much going on. I love watching a horse roll. <laughs> He's like, I'm too fat. <laughs> oh, he did it. Good boy. What a sweet boy. <laughs> Problem is this whole pasture is a hill. It's hard to roll on a hill. Even Storm looks better. So uh, yesterday and today, these two little goats are in heat and uh, they were rubbing up against the fence and my little buckling was in rut for the first time. He was peeing all over himself and he was calling out to them and he's definitely ready. Uh-oh, I didn't mean you, I meant the boy, not you. Anyway, these two are the ones in heat. <laughs> Can you tell? Hi. <laughs> According to my calculations, the time will be right on October the 1st. So I'm gonna put the boys with the girls, except for the babies that can't be bred. You aren't being bred this year. Sorry about your luck. Not your turn. 
but yeah, I'm excited. I can't believe it. I was honestly worried that that little buck wasn't going to be able to rise to the occasion, but I think <laughs> he's going to be able to do it. Unfortunately, a lady wants to come too. All right, so the thing I hate the most about this barn is that we can't all be together when we're working with our horses, like tacking them up. Oh, I know. They're like the friendliest little animals. This is our new group. This, these are all new from this year. They're the friendliest. <laughs> She's like, they're not my friends. So what'd you do, you cut it? No. It looks so good. Like, I don't like it. You guys look back at old pictures and you will see. She looks better in short mane. No, it's so perfect. It's like so thin. I've never seen, that's like concerning actually. I've never seen her have like nice thin hair. I wanna, like even her, your hair. The really dead ends, like All right. trim it. Just that then. But they're not dead ends. They're just draw, they're just curly. They're like her hair it is so like nice. It bleached her hair and it grew back out. That's because she's got chestnut in her. I wish I could be in here too. It's like nicer in here to groom. This is this is Willow's perspective. Actually, it's <laughs> down a bit. Yeah, this is Willow's perspective. She's like, what in the world are they in here for? Sadly, I'm stuck in here. That's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna just brush her and then I do a little bit of groundwork with her and remind her. The, um, the boss of her. Do you remember that pen? And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Restoring everything within. Oh. I'll get bug spray for you. So I've been, I've been looking at all their feet because we had a different farrier. Once you love your farrier and you know your farrier, everything else looks so different. I'm standing here looking at her feet. Do they look different to you guys? They're way shorter than normal. Like, I guess it's hard to tell because there's a shadow right there. I don't know, they seem too short to me. I'm always complaining, I'm such a complainer. Too short, too long, too long, now too short. Even her back ones look so different to me. Like I've never seen them like this before. I just trimmed Penny's hair and it does feel good. Basically her hair was really scraggly at the ends. So I just did what Sophie did and just trimmed like the ends off a little bit. I could probably even go a little bit shorter right here. I might. The thing about hair is that it doesn't mean, make any difference. Like hair goes back, hair is nothing. And Sophie's 14 and she's at the stage in life where, she's at the stage in life where she's learning about stuff. She's learning about what she can do and what she can handle in life. And you know what, she can handle hair. She's 14, she's done a lot of riding in her life. She knows a lot about horses. She grew up with horses. And here I am saying, you can't cut your horse's hair. It doesn't mean anything, it'll grow back. It's just that it's important to me. I like a horse with long hair. <laughs> I love a horse with long hair. So it's hard for me <laughs> to accept that she wants to cut it all the time. Like when I look at Honey, Honey is so cute. And her little tail is so short and it just stresses me out. Because, only because it's not my style. But here's the thing, it's not my horse. I shouldn't get to choose. So I have to just let her do her own thing with her own horse. Just like I have to let her do her own thing with her own hair, which she does. I don't know why horses are just so like they just you just have so much feeling for them that you always want to control all that kind of stuff, how they look. But that's bad. <laughs> let me get some bug spray for you. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some groundwork. And we'll get Sophie to come with us, okay? Because you need some work. Today she loves me. I think I think she's in heat. 
that could have been the problem yesterday. Anyways, I used this bug spray called, I forget what it's called, I'll show you in a minute. And I rub it on their body with my finger because it doesn't come with like any kind of applicator. Sweat, sweat, no, I forget what it's called. But anyway, my trainer said, you're supposed to use a sponge. So then I started using a sponge <laughs> and you can't hardly see it and it, then it blends in a lot better. But anyway, you ready? She seems much happier today. Are you ready? Are you ready to go outside and do some stuff? She just shook her head yes. This is why I never use a tripod. I leave them in all the different barns, but the thing that goes on top to screw into the camera is always missing. You ready? Oops, you ready? Swat. That's the bug spray. All right, let's go, Miss Pickle. I just heard Lady running for her life to get to Penny because Penny is her love. And the whole ground was shaken. They all know that this is the place of torture where all their friends go and they have to stay here. I might need help. I hate to say it, you guys, but I think their feet are too short. It must be hard to cut new horses' feet. I miss this stuff. Like, I love working with her. I don't know why I don't do it more often. And I could be brave. Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know how we used to be before anyone heard of you and me. Sophie says Willow looks a little bit ouchy on her toes. They all got a little scalped. I miss my farrier. <laughs> the big thing about Lady is groundwork. Lady's great. I know, but you need to practice it because the more she remembers to listen to you on, on the ground. All I did was like change uh, transitions to our speed and stop and back up. And that's all Penny really needs. She does really good. She does seem a little bit ouchy in her toes. <laughs> Poor thing. The thing about ouchy toes is that they grow back really fast. And then like our horse's feet grow fast because of all the grass they're getting. Usually it, they, it, that kind of goes away as the season progresses and the grass gets less good quality. But because of all the rain we've had, our grass is like still green. I don't like to use a lead rope with Penny when I'm working with her because she does really well without it. Woo, scorching. But because I haven't done it in a while, I wanted to remind her what I wanted her with the leash or with the lead rope, but she remembered perfectly. She was really good. She matched my speed really well. The only thing that she needed a reminder of with is because I use treats to train. Um, she kept putting her face close to me to ask for the treat after she'd done something I asked her and I had to keep reminding her by shaking my hand for her to get out of my space. And then as soon as I did that, she like kept putting her head far away because she knows she only gets rewarded when her head is in a different position far from me. And so she did really well. I just want to keep up with that though. I want to do more of it. Like I love working with her. It's supposed to get colder in the next couple of days though. Holy heck, it's scorching. That was fun for me though. Sophie, was that fun for you? No. Why? Too hot. Too hot. Too hot for both of us. When I was taking care of the baby on the weekend, it was this hot outside, but because we live on a hill, it's so nice in the shade. There's like a breeze all the time. Oh, and it just feels so lovely in the shade. I tend to love the bigger birds. That's why I feel like I'd love an emu. Emus and cows, that's what I want. 
Those are the last things I want to add to our farm. More turkeys, maybe more ducks, maybe more, <laughs> more turkeys. Oh, meat chickens, more turkeys, two little cows, and two emus. That's all I want, you guys. That's it. That's all I want to finish out our farm. I love to watch the ducks, and I love to pet the turkey. <sighs> The turkeys. You guys, look how big Kirby is. Don't you know that you're beautiful?